Hey folks, welcome to the Wealth Transfer with TC. Today, I want to give an update on the Iraqi dinar. Now, currently, there really isn't any true update because Iraq is just one big mess right now, politically, economically, and, you know, they still are under the thumb of OPEC. But I keep getting asked the question over and over again. People send me messages and all so forth. What's going on with Iraqi dinar? Right now, it's the same thing as I, I have always said, that we are not going to see things until when things seem at their worst. I've heard from dinar gurus for years, and people are still uh, going with the nonsense of every weekend, every holiday, and all that stuff. You know, I don't mess around with that stuff anymore. It's just a waste of time. So I've been able to focus, you know, for years now on other investments other than waiting on the dinar. And I've already shared with everybody multiple times what the signs will be when this occurs, right? And the number one sign will be when Israel is caught up in a war with Iran and Syria, right? The grave surrender, right? The, the, and that grave surrender has to deal with Iran and Syria. And Russia will be involved with that as well. And it may even draw in France and Germany into this Middle East war and other countries, Right, because it's going to be when things seem at their worst, and Kim Clement already explained that was that it's going to seem like it's Armageddon, like it's the end of the world, but it won't be, and it's going to be a short war. And Iran and Syria will surrender. Israel is is going to defend itself, and it's going to draw in some of the world. And that's the thing I do anticipate for myself. Right about the Iraqi dinar because I saw it in a vision myself of the dinar going from one dollar to three dollars to five dollars and then back to three dollars. Right now, that's not to say that uh, that's going to happen immediately, and I do expect at any time for them just to bump up the rates, just like they can lower them, they can also increase the exchange rate too as well. So that was the one of the main reasons why I even. Uh, really started to, to study these different prophetic words by Kim Clement because of what I saw too as well. Right, so what I've done, and this link will be down below in the description, and this is called the Dinar Prophecy. Right, this is a Google document I put together that deals with all of Kim Clement's prophecies. So this document right here, I, I broke down every Kim, Kim Clement prophecy where you can just go and click on the link and you can read it for yourself and you can study it for yourself, right? And then I also have the Kim Clement Grave Surrender Prophecies, right? This is every prophecy he talks about a grave surrender or some type of mass surrender. And it always goes back to two countries, Iraq, I mean, Iran and Syria. Then here I have a total of five videos. This deals with Iraq and the Grave Surrender the events surrounding the Dinar RV in Saudi Arabia. Also another prophecy dealing with when things seem at their worst. Right. Also, Kevin Drake's prophecy of the 900 tons of Iraq gold and the golden oil to revive the United States. And the central bank digital coin. If you read these prophecies, you go over these videos, uh, then you're going to see you'll be able to put all the pieces together just like I have. Right? A lot of people talk about the Dow being at 20,000. And when the Dow hit 20,000 originally, well, things weren't at their worst. They were actually doing pretty good. So we also had this, I put in here, Christopher Harris prophecy dealing with how low the Dow is going to go. What he saw. He saw it go down to 6,677. You now the Dow is itself is going to be incredibly low, especially from where it's at right now. So there's all different kind of ways you can prepare for that, whether you're investing or whether you're preparing yourself for hard times. And that's why we always look to see what other prophetic words are out there to confirm these things. So the Dow will fall back down past the 20,000. And according to Christopher Harris's prophetic word, it'll reach 6,677. So eventually it's going to have to go back up to that. And so what would happen if they revalue the dinar, what's going to happen to the economy? And what did Kim Clement say all this was for? 
He wanted his people to be able to stretch out their hand to the lonely, to the hungry, to the poor, and feed them and clothe them. That is my desire, says the Lord. All right, so that is exactly what we are supposed to do with the dinar. Is to, and that is going to help boost up the economy because the people who are holding the dinar and they're listening to what God is saying, they're going to be there for the lonely, for the hungry, for the poor, and they're going to feed them and clothe them. That's going to help boost the economy. So that's what we're supposed to do is help people, right? And any government that is holding Iraqi dinar, it's going to boost up their reserves dramatically. So yeah, I can see the dinar boosting up the Dow up to that point. Uh, so for those of you who are waiting on the dinar and you want to know what the prophetic word is saying, all you have to do is go to this document down below and do the study and research it. Listen to the videos, right? Then you can get an idea. But other than that, when things seem at their worst, it's going to seem like it's the end, right? And it's going to, and the major, major sign is that major conflict in the Middle East that deals with Israel. And it's going to be all over the news, and it's going to be a very big deal. And a lot of people th are going to think that this is it, this is the end, this is Armageddon and all this stuff. All right, so just wanted to put that out there. I don't plan on doing any more Iraqi dinar videos until something important enough comes out. But until then, that's this is where basically I stand right now. So this link will be down below in the description, and you can study it yourself if you want to. But if you're just waiting for the major sign, it's going to have to do with Israel. It's not going to happen until then. All right, and maybe around that point in time, Iraq will actually be broken away from OPEC. And that will be another sign, too, as well, I think. Who knows when that will happen? That could come after or before. All right, folks, so that is all that I have for this today. God bless. TC out.